Hi, this is a video on REM system using Corning CoStar 24 well plates, part number 3524. And uh, insert is Corning CoStar part number 3495. So the issue with this insert is, or the system is, this inserts move this inserts move within the well plate and it has specific spots in certain regions so the electrode is going to come and get in get in through the gap so this is a c96 electrode and this would be the suitable one in this application because it has a thinner diameter so this three c96 electrodes are mainly designed for 96 well plate so since the gap is very tight, so C96 can, may be used. However, the, there is a lot of risk associated with this. The reason is, so as you can see, there is not a lot of room involved. So the gap is pretty tight. And since the electrodes, uh, since the insert move within the well, that kind of create a challenge. So let me try to explain it while I'm trying to run the RAM software. So what I'm trying to say, so if it comes in this spot, it will come to the same spot in this well as well. So the user has to make sure that the same spot is available here. Same spot is available here. And same spot is available here. So I'm going to intentionally leave one of these spots wrong. And even if you make the spacing right or in the same orientation, this still could be a problem. The reason is this stuff moves so if it is a little forward or backward that will create the challenge problem as well okay so coming back to running the software so i'm going to run the software right now the ram system so let me show you so it will take a minute since i'm changing the settings in the software so i'm going to go down into this well again you can have a better look so this is the electrode i'm talking about so it's going to go to the z low position like get inside the well so as you see since this uh, electrode uh, this transfer moves so that can move the system a little bit so I'm going to go to the other wells as well and explain you so I'm changing the setting so it will take a minute So I go to the next wells right now. I go to reset one. And uh, I'll go to reset one, two, three, four. Starting from one. And I'm going to run the RAM system. See what happens. First, I'm sending the electrode back to home. And then telling it to go back and read the samples. And I've set up a uh, three seconds reading gaps. So it will go to the next well. Then I'm going to send it to the next well. The fourth one I've intentionally set it in a wrong orientation. So you see what happened so the electrode came off from the base so the electrode actually came off from the base so let me see if i can focus on this system or not so the electrode actually came up from this base right now so this is a dummy electrode this is a dummy electrode but if you have an actual electrode which would look something like this 
something like this you may end up damaging the tip of the electrode so this is the concern that we have using this system